Okay, well let's get back to uh, styling up our top navigation bar. Uh, you can see I've got a bulleted list in here with some links, just five of them. So I'm going to click inside there, select that top nav down in the uh, HTML trail, click my new CSS rule button. Alright, so um, really all I'm going to do here is put a background color in because I want a little maybe dark medium gray background behind these links because I'm going to make them white I think. Um, I also would like this menu aligned to the right. So under block here I'm going to say hey align any text in here to the right. When I click apply that should sort of jump over there. You can see it there. Um, and I think I'll put a little bit of padding in, maybe five pixels or so, just to give it a little breathing room uh, between that text. Okay, so I've just got sort of the, the basic uh, setup done here. Now I need to go and start styling this unordered list. So I'm going to click inside there and can come down here and select the unordered list. Now these unordered lists, the UL tag has some properties, some default properties, basically some default uh, spacing. So I'm going to go right to the box and just get rid of all the spacing here. Okay, and when I do that, um, you should see this, the size change. You can see that, that space above and below um, change. There was a sort of a default margin in there. Um, also, under lists, I don't want the little bullet to show up there, so I'm just going to go to list style type and choose none, and push apply, and I'll see that go away. Uh, and that's all I'm going to do here. Okay, now let's go into the actual list items. So I'm going to go to and select the li tag down here and click the new style button. Okay, and here's where we're going to be able to get these to go side by side. So under block, I'm going to select display and inline. And when I do that, instead of being the default is for the default for uh, a list is for these things to be vertical. But when I say, hey, make these inline, it puts them all together like that. Now I probably want a little bit of space between, a little more space between each one, and I'll just use padding for that. So I'm just going to put 10 to the right and 10 to the left, and that should give me a nice, uh, a nice bit of spacing. It also be not, might be nice to have uh, to really make it a little more obvious that there are, these are different links. Uh, to put a little vertical line in, which is sort of the standard thing when you do uh, a text link menu. So uh, I'm going to do a little CSS technique here. I'm going to use the uh, border, but I'm just going to put a right-hand border here, a right-hand solid border, and make it one pixel wide and um, uh, black. And let's just see how that comes out. So you can see I get a, a, a thin border on each side, and you can tell, you can see across the top there. I get one in between each one, where each word or each link um, or each list item, and there's one at the very end. I'll have to fix that um, uh, when I'm finished here. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do right there. Okay, so now I've got this menu is starting to look a little bit better. Uh, now I want to sort of decide what these links are going to look like because the default is blue and underlined. Um, so I'm just going to select that A tag down there, click the new style button. And uh, first of all, I don't want the underline. So we can see what happens here. I want to take the underline off and I think I'd like these to be white. And then when the mouse rolls over, I want to turn black and get an underline. So i got to get them white first. So it looks something like that. Okay. So now I've got that much done, um, and it's looking okay. Uh, once these links get become visited, they'll go to purple and underlined. So I need to change what the visited state is. Um, so again, I'm going to select the A tag down here, and click the new style sheet button. And if you see this name that comes up, this is the name for the what I just defined. So I need to add a little bit of my own stuff here to make it uh, the definition for the what the visited link looks like. So I'm just going to do colon visited on the end. Okay, and that'll tell it for this rule that I'm going to write now uh, only show this style after a link has been visited. So I just colon visited on the end there. 
and all I really want, I want this to look exactly the same as when it's been non-visited. So I'm just going to do white and not underlined. And say OK. OK, so there's my visited style. We can't see it, of course. Um, I also would like these to have a little rollover. So I'm going to go right to that same place again. Select the A tag, click the new style. This time on the end here, I'm going to do colon hover. OK, and so now that this is letting me me define what this link will look like when the mouse rolls over it. So colon hover and I want these to turn black and I want the underline to show and click OK. So I've got a little package here um, the A link, just what the link is going to look like, what it's going to look like when it's been visited and what it looks like when the mouse rolls over it. So let's give these a little test uh, and see how it's going to look. Okay, so um, it's looking pretty much how I intended. Let's see what happens when the mouse rolls over it. You can see there's the hover, so the mouse rolls over it. Um, and the visited look, if I were to click on one of these and then back up, the visited look is exactly the same, so they don't change how they look when they've been visited. Okay, we need to do one last thing here is to get rid of this last little um, vertical line there because it looks a little funny to have one on the end and uh, it's there because I used the border to get that vertical line and I want to take that off so let's go back here to Dreamweaver and we've got to create a little class here just for that okay so I'm going to go in here um, oh, that's left over let me just get that off there okay so I'm going to go into that last list item and do a new style and because this is a custom one it's only going to happen one place where I apply it um, we're going to create a class for that so I'm just going to do a dot and last so add dot last on the end there say OK and now I just go right to the border and um, I think we can probably just say hey no none for this so all borders will go away if there were any showing say OK and then I have to apply it. And I've created that rule, but it's not applied. I haven't told it where to apply. So I'm just going to go in, select that last list item. And now in my properties bar, any of these classes that I've created, they'll show up down here. So there's my last. And you can see right away that border turned off. Um, so if I were to add another link to this menu, uh, I would have to reapply that to the end one. And I'll, we'll, we'll do that in a, in a bit. Um, okay, so with that, let's preview this again and see how it is looking so far. So I've got a pretty good um, layout going. I've built a little menu with some styles to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, now this is a pretty simple CSS text menu. There's lots of fancy, fancy things you can do here to make these look like buttons. Um, but for now, that's going to be good enough.